Greetings. Somebody sent me this, and uh, it's called A Poem of Urgency. So let me just go ahead and read it. Uh, by the way, I can't take credit for this. I'm not a poet, and I know it. All right, so let's start. Poem of Urgency. And now it's time to stand my friend and fight the dragon foe and not shrink back or deny Jesus or heaven you will not go. He is waiting in his chambers for his spotless bride. Don't forsake your first love or fall down in your pride. His love is pure and holy and true. And New Jerusalem is waiting for you. Repent now and cleanse your raiment. So at his appearing, you will not lament. Bow your knee to the King of Kings. Don't wait. Do it now and not other things. Nothing is more important than this. He calls. He warns. This do not miss. All right, that's the end of the poem. Well, since we're doing poems, uh, I found another one. It's called I Met the Ma the uh, I'm sorry. I Met the Master. I had walked life's way with an easy tread. Had followed where comforts and pleasure led. Until one day in a quiet place, I met the master face to face. With station and rank and wealth for my goal, much thought for my body, but none for my soul. I had entered to win in life's mad race when I met the master face to face. I met him and knew him and blushed to see that his eyes full of sorrow were fixed on me. And I faltered and fell at his feet that day while my castles melted and vanished away. While my castles melted and vanished away. Melted and vanished and in their place. Naught else did I see but the master's face. And I cried aloud, Oh, make me meet to follow the steps of thy wounded feet. My thought is now for the souls of men. I have lost my life to find it again. Ere since one day in a quiet place, I met the master face to face. Author unknown. I guess one more thing would be in order. The Bible contains the mind of God, the state of man, the way of salvation, the doom of sinners, and the happiness of believers. Its, its doctrines are holy. Its precepts are binding. Its histories are true. And its decisions are immutable. Read it to be wise. Believe it to be safe. And practice it to be holy. It contains light to direct you, food to support you, and comfort to cheer you. It is the traveler's map, the pilgrim's staff, the pilot's compass, 
the soldier's sword, and the Christian's character. Here, paradise is restored, heaven opened, and the gates of hell disclosed. Christ is its grand object. Our good is its design, and the glory of God its end. It should fill the memory, rule the heart, and guide the feet. Read it slowly, frequently, and prayerfully. It is given you in life and will be opened in the judgment and will be remembered forever. It involves the highest responsibility, will reward the greatest labor, and will condemn all who trifle with its sacred contents. Author unknown. First time I ever read this was on a Gideon's King James Bible in a hotel room. Thank God for the Gideons. All right, well, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world and his blessed Father. Amen.